Yeah, I got a new flashlight today that I'm going to uh, do a little review on. And this is the Nikkor Tiki LE. Nikkor sent this on to me. And I've got every, I think, almost every keychain flashlight by Nikkor. So I might add them in just to show you what they look like. This guy is small. And when I mean small, this has got to be the brightest, smallest one yet. If anything, it's probably, I would say... The brightest for size keychain light that I've ever seen. Thing is wicked. We'll get some more close up, better close ups in the house. Now, one thing right off the bat, it does come with this little key, this little ring in the clasp, not this ring. Forever and ever, I was trying to get this thing apart to fit it on there, and I just ended up taking this one and putting it on. So when you get it, you're going to need a bigger key ring. Now, as far as size, this is a typical standard key to an automobile. Look at that. Specs wise, you're looking at on high mode 300 lumens in 30 minutes of runtime for high mode. Mid, mid 60 lumens for an hour, low 15 lumens for four hours, and ultra low is one lumen for 40 hours. And to turn it on, you basically just double click it. And you go in your ultra low, that's 40 hours of runtime on that. If you click it again, you're into the, the mid, which is 60 hours. I'm sorry, low, which is 15 lumens for four hours of runtime. And then mid, 60 lumens for one hour. And of course, your 300 thing is bright, I'm telling you. You can't even look at it. That's uh, shining your eyes, it blinds you up close. 30 minutes of runtime. The other one is you'll triple click. One, two, three. Oh, yeah, shut it off. One, two, three. You get a red uh, on this mode, the Tiki LE. You get the red, which is three lumens. That runs for an hour. Click it again. You got blue, 45 minutes, and then an hour and 45 minutes of doing that which at night is extremely bright. That would get anybody's attention from a distance. Actually, I'm going to try it out. I'm going to hang in a tree and just show you with my action cam, see if we can pick it up. All right, this is a wide view. I got it. Should be able to see it. I'm about 30 feet away from it in broad daylight. You see right there. I think that's pretty neat. And I will be reviewing the, the the other Tiki once that comes. And that one's got a UV and then a CRI light. Now, peak beam distance, 77 yards on this thing. Uh, it is only dust proof and power washer proof. Not You cannot uh, submerse it in water. Impact resistance, a meter, which my guess would even be more than that. Uh, very small. Like I said, I got the Tiki LE currently and then i'm going to get the tiki hopefully within a week or so and we can do a review on that and the led on this is the osram p8 led it's a wicked led like i said i'm quite impressed with this little thing but there is a way to go to uh just turbo you hold it on you get it right into 300 uh lumens and charging is quite simple you got this little flip here and then a micro usb charging port which any phone charger would uh, do the trick we're going to take get some shots of this thing at night time just to show you what i'm talking about it's hard to of course justify lights during the day now, i mean don't expect no ultimate 1500 meter thrower but you'd be impressed with the brightness of this thing and a good battery life and I'll throw in probably throw in this little night core tube for comparison's sake on brightness this is what it comes in just basically the little package like this is what you'd expect uh, probably make probably make a pretty good gift I would say uh, well priced awesome little light so let's go uh, do some shining. To do it, just to see. They say in 77 meters of throw with this little night core, and we're gonna have pick a tree out, out there. 
that's 62 meters away, and I'm going to see if I can see it with this. Well, I'll be darned. Look at that. It's picking it out. That's that little night core at 62 meters. Seriously doubt you're going to go any higher than that. You know what? It's bouncing off that tree at 94. A little bit. See that? But 62 meters. Alright, here comes the acid test at this little uh, night core. I'll try to put my focus in a little bit here. Neighbor's cars, or the friend's, daughter's friend's car is right in the way. I'm not going to have them move it, but we're going to turn this night core on. These are my car headlights on high. Look at that. Night core, car headlights. Night core, car headlights. This little keychain light is literally almost as bright as car headlights. Pretty awesome. I really like that. Pretty neat, huh? All right, I'm going to give this a good yard test on this little night core. And we're going to see if we can light up a yard with it. And we can. <laughs> Look at that. That this swings 100 feet away and 120 feet up there. Now, that's that low mode right there, and it's actually hitting, reflecting off the snow good. And if I were to click it again, get some smoke coming in. Wind picked up and blew the smoke right in. Sorry about that. And click it again, you're going into that higher mode. You can't tell me this little light is not wicked, throwing that much light output out. You can't tell me it's not. You got to be impressed with it. Look at that. Now, I'm going to do is compare it to the other Night Court original TIP, that little blue one. Or the Night Court tube is what it is. There's the Night Court tube, which is about a little bit bigger than it. And then here's that with the smoke, of course, blowing through my, from my fire pit. Come on. Wind just ain't going to cooperate. But here's that tube. Is that unreal or what? You're talking back way up there is a couple hundred feet. It'll, you can shine this in your yard to see if there was an animal or something. That thing is just, it's unreal. Pretty neat. There's what was creating all the smoke. And yeah, I'm going to shine this at it. That's on that low mode, and I'm about seven, eight feet away. In the medium mode, and the higher mode. And then the highest mode, <laughs> drops it right out. Look at that. If I were to turn my ISO way down. Hey, just to compare these quick, like I said, I had already showed you this uh, Nightcore tube up against the uh, Tiki. I got a couple other ones. Here's the TIP2. Now, this is a beast, of course, but it is quite a bit bigger. And then, of course, you got the big one, the TUP. As far as I'm concerned, this is the brightest keychain light on the market. Way, way, way bigger. But I wanted to throw that in. I might do a separate video just showing all these. Hey, one thing I didn't, I forgot to do with this flashlight was I want to test the heat and the runtime on turbo or the 300 lumen so we're gonna get that put on there now I've already ran it a little bit uh, temp wise it's not very hot I'm gonna let it run for a couple minutes and then I'll turn the camera back on well after just over a minute that dropped down a little bit off from 300 lumens now, I don't remember reading that in there but it ain't even warming up anyway it's like low 70s it's not getting any hotter but it dropped, i seen it drop down. Meet low, medium, high. There's the turbo. It must drop down after about a minute. Yep, just dropped down. A little over a minute, it'll drop down, but then you can turn around and click it right back on. This thing is not even warm. It's not even getting warm anywhere. Pretty neat. Alright, that is the Nightcore Tiki. Pretty neat little 
uh, light to the brightness on this thing. It's pretty awesome. And why would somebody want something like this? Well, of course, to hang on a keychain, you got it readily available, decent light, good for safety measures too. Um, battery life is excellent on this. You just don't want to end up uh, washing this thing because you will ruin it. That's what I did with a Nightcore TUP. I washed it in my pants and twice the second time around it ruined it. Uh, it comes with a real good clasp, very heavy spring built. Uh, built-in spring in there, but I would recommend attaching this on the keychains. Don't just put it in your pocket because you'll forget it. As small as these things are, you can lose them. But there you go, the Nightcore Tiki. Check that link out down below for this and other Nightcores, or should I say the Tiki LE? Tiki is coming. I will review that one. So, so there you go. Till the next time.